hundreds of activists gathered at the climate action camp in the border area between Bergen and Antwerp to carry out a non-violent blockade against coal, the dirtiest and most dangerous form of fossil fuel. To safeguard our own pro-existence, we need to develop an alternative for the existing world in the here and now and resist the existing powers in the way of an energy revolution. Prominent climate scientist Jim Hansen called for civil disobedience and a moratorium on the construction of coal-fired power plants. We turn word into action. Death the capital! If we are to live healthy, happy, sustainable lives, we need to change our way of living. This means not using more than our fair share of the global resources and not more than the earth can replace to sustain us. As countries constantly strive to produce more and more in competition with each other, we rely increasingly on limited resources like fossil fuels, dependencies that lead to lives lost in the pursuit of economic growth. Societies based on competition between individuals to own the most, spend the most and work the most are not sustainable. Bridge in the front. Give it a try, man. I don't think we're going to all walk through here right now. Hang on, we're not all walking. Stop, stop, stop. Just people who are kind of... Bridge? Yeah. And then it's the bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the bamboo. Yeah. I think if we put the wall on top of the reeds, they take it. I was walking on top. And now, from here we have to put that. <laughs> okay. Step on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, up. Can we... Can we have another strong person here, please? Yep. Okay, we need to lift up and get it as far as we can and then drop. Is there a swamp underneath? Yeah, well, we'll do it. We'll get dirty. Yeah. Wow. I don't mind. Try to get there. Or uh, yeah, maybe here is, the wood is not really important, you know. We can make breaks between the wood, you know. Back, take this back, take it all back. We're gonna have to go around the other way. Okay. This way is okay. Come on, we let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. Yeah, of course. Let's go. Somebody else go to the front end and see if they can work it out. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, let's make bigger breaks uh, between the wood. Th okay, that yeah. we can uh, longer way, you know, and we don't need wood here, you know, we can walk, we okay. just get uh, dirty shoes, that's no problem. If the Hang bridge on. is in the middle of the water, it will... Let's try it uh, Another board and we go, one by one. But is it bad Maybe if our shoes get wet? Yeah. We can go with the wet feet. We can see. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we can go, okay. everything is People, possible. You're probably going to get your feet wet, yeah? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep moving quite fast. I'm going to move out. Right. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think the best idea if we go one by one, that uh, the all weight is not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't stand on the cross of the. Come on, come on. Don't right. stand on the cross of the go. bridge. Go. No, don't worry about the cross of the bridge at the moment. As quicker you go, it's uh, better okay. for you. Go fast. And we'll one, go. Go. Yeah, just, uh, let's, uh, let's hey, hey, you just keep going. You wait. Come, give me a hand. Oh, 
I'm riding. Um, yeah, you have to. I, I, I'm gonna go. Off. You have to go quick. Hey, grass, more grass. We more need grass, more grass. grass. Keep the grass. Uh, be careful, it's a uh, hurt. Break it, not pull it. Break it, not pull it. More grass here. What? The hole. Big jump. Oh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> um, I will. Uh, yeah. If we can stand here, you know, like because I'm still uh, doing too many things. <laughs> do, do you have bandage uh, or something? Uh, it's plaster. Is not enough, you know. Not, not enough. No. Uh. Can I have a look at your window? Main aims of the camp, I guess you could say. Um, I guess the first would be um, education, and so that's why we try and have like a, a quite a broad range of, of workshops and different um, things happening in the program. Everything from kind of DIY stuff, learning people, uh, teaching people how to, um, you know, uh, certain practical skills, or or teaching about you know vegan cooking or what have you and then um, uh, along with that you have uh, um, direct action um, really it's trying to be a kind of accessible space but a space that pushes uh, pushes people to feel more comfortable and maybe cross boundaries and, and get involved in direct action especially if they've never done that before um, so really really trying to make direct action accessible and, and make people understand why it's a good and important tactic um, <clears throat> And along with that, um, the third kind of main aim, I guess you could say, is uh, uh, sustainable living or kind of uh, ideally carbon neutral living. Um, so in everything that we do, we try and kind of do it in the most uh, ecological way that it is possible or feasible. Um, and so therefore we put a big emphasis on things like the, the compost toilets and keeping our water consumption down, composting our food waste, um, cooking vegan at the site, organic as well, um, and experimenting with other kind of sustainable systems like rocket stoves or grey water systems. Um, and then the final thing, um, and this is like I, one of the really big strengths of, of climate camps in my opinion, and having been involved in the camps in the UK and, and seeing some of the other places, um, that would be movement building. Um, so using it as a kind of springing off point for, for further actions and further campaigns and further activities, it's not just about kind of what happens in this week, it's about trying to make connections and get people involved in the longer term. So both bringing new people in and also kind of making connections between people who are maybe doing similar things but in different places and um, seeing how it all links up. So those are the kind of, mm -hmm. uh, for me, the main, the main uh, reasons and, and to be involved in a camp like this.